Chinese smartphones often arrive with bloatware and other limits. Localization can also be incomplete at times. The software Android D-Bloater helps users make these devices more suitable for the international market. The tool is currently available only for Windows PCs. You can download Android D-Bloater for free from the developer's website. Right now, the file is about 400 megabytes. Most of that size comes from the APK's Android install files. After the download, your browser may ask you if you trust the app. You can safely confirm. The download takes only moments. Windows then asks if you want to run the setup. Click Yes. The app is offered in several languages, including German, English, and Polish. After picking a language, start the install. The program suggests a folder and lets you add a desktop icon so you can find it easily. Review the choices and begin installation. A few seconds later, the app is installed. One click on Finish closes the setup and launches the program. At first launch, the app reminds you of its main tasks. Remove bloatware, install Google Apps, and optimize system settings. Out of the box, it supports Oppo, Vivo, Realme, OnePlus, and Nubia phones. The tool is made by Trading Shenzhen. Tap Get Started to continue. For the program to work, ADB drivers must be installed. Click ADB Driver Install. A short wizard explains why the drivers are needed. A few clicks complete the driver install. Let's still look at the process in detail. During ADB driver setup, you choose an install folder again. You do not need a special folder. Accept the default and finish. Android D Bloater shows a green message to confirm success. It keeps checking for a connected Android device so D Bloating can begin. Your phone must already be set up. Usually you can switch the initial setup to English, making it easy. Chinese phones often ship without the Play Store and with lots of bloatware. Android D-Bloater aims to fix that. First, USB debugging must be enabled on the device. Android D-Bloater shows small graphics explaining how. Next, we enable USB debugging on the Vivo X200 Pro. From the home screen open settings, scroll down and open About Phone. At the bottom tap Version Info. Press Software Version 5 times to unlock Developer Options. Now go back twice. Developer Options are under System Management Upgrade. Once opened, scroll down and tap Developer Options. They are off by default and you need to switch them on. The system asks if you are sure. You can confirm that with OK. Scroll down to USB Debugging and turn it on. The X200 Pro asks again for your consent. You can confirm that. Finally, connect phone and PC with a USB-C cable. Android asks for the USB mode. In this menu, choose Files. You now need to authorize the current PC. Once you do that, USB debugging is active. The phone is then detected in Android D-Bloater. In the Windows app, press Continue. The program lists possible tasks such as install the Play Store, install Google Keyboard called Gboard, install SetEdit. That's a tool to change language. Optionally install Firefox and Package Name Viewer. The first three options are checked by default. Click Start to begin. Android Dbloater starts immediately, deletes unnecessary apps, and begins installing Google Play and more. Each install needs manual confirmation on the phone. After you accept, the apps install. When installs finish, you can change the Play Store language inside Android Dbloater. What you choose comes down to your very own needs. German users pick German, Polish users pick Polski. Not all apps will, for example, speak Polish. Those that don't support speech output in languages other than English or German will continue to use their own language. During this process, Google services are being enabled. You need to make about two taps on the phone to confirm. Android Dbloater notes that Oppo and OnePlus phones need an alternative method for language change. On Oppo devices, language change is harder. Set edit is required. Install it through Android D-Bloater, open Set Edit, and search for System Locales. Edit the entry. Polish users type PL-PL and save. Now it's time to restart the phone. After that, the Play Store speaks Polish. Back in Android D-Bloater, click Next. The app summarizes what it did. Click Finish to close. D-Bloating is complete, and the phone is better prepared for Europe. Android D-Bloater also installs Package Name Viewer. With it, you can see an app's true package name. If any Chinese app remains, 
Note its package name and submit it on the Android Debloater website. The developer will add it in future versions and improve the process. On the X200 Pro, you may still see a few Chinese apps. Decide what is still needed. It's nice that the community can help. To report an app, open the Android Debloater site. The page is clean and ad-free. Under Submit App, enter your name and email, plus the app name and package name from Package Name Viewer. Optionally, add the phone or app maker or use other if missing. Leave a comment if you wish. Click Submit Apps. The developers will review your report. Android Debloater gets regular updates. The first version of this video used 1.94. A look at AndroidDebloater.com shows version 2.00 is now available. Download it the same way. Once updated, all new features are ready and debloating can be even more precise.